Hi Warriors, it's Hannah here and welcome back to another video. This weekend with the content you've all been waiting for. I'm doing absolutely nothing. No workout, no work, no stress, just lions, really good food, maybe a fun little walk, maybe a recipe coming up, but absolutely nothing else. Why? Because taking rest has been a massive, massive challenge for me. And this year, 2022, is the year that I'm gonna face this challenge. I am gonna beat this challenge. I'm gonna overcome it and come out better, more rested, more peaceful. And I'm looking forward to that. First off, there's obviously the plans to move to Spain and I'm planning to change my working days around a little bit there. I'm planning to only work three or four days as I set up my retreat, continue with YouTube, continue with online coaching. I'm also planning, even before leaving to Spain, to take at least two days a week off. No laptop at all. Minimal phone use, definitely a good book and definitely some time outside, no matter the weather. Those are non-negotiables. This morning I had a lovely, lovely lion, read my book, had breakfast, and made some fresh orange juice. It's nice to take a bit of extra time at the weekend when I actually have that time on my hands, when I've got it available. During the week it's all too easy to get super busy, so at the weekend it is just so important to take a breather and take a little step back. Last week I was absolutely exhausted. So for the past week I have been neglecting the gym a little bit and I have been going to bed, let's say quite early. One night at 8.30 and one night at 9.30, which is exceptional. Clearly my body's telling me that it needs a bit of rest, so I'm listening to that and I'm trying to listen to that more often. Weekends are for rest. During my recovery I found this really difficult, but especially during that time, my body needed so much rest and in spite of taking this rest I kept eating as well. Just because you're having a rest day doesn't mean that suddenly your calorie needs are a lot lot lower. You still need food. Let's go for a little walk. Before going out, I had a bit of fun just trying on a few dresses. Seeing as when I'm recording this, it's actually the weekend before Valentine's Day. So I wanted to discover my Valentine's Day outfit. I also tried a few other more summery cup sheet dresses just because I feel like I'm getting ready and getting hyped to go to Spain soon. So yeah, the dresses. I'll leave a link to each of them in the description below and just a little one-liner about each of them. To be honest, I loved all of them. And so far, I can't really say anything bad about Cupshi. By this point, Tom was up and ready to take the drone out. So we left the house. Initially, I planned to wear my very new shoes, but I decided to change that just because of the nasty weather. However, I do want to show you all my new shoes because they're pretty awesome. They look pretty much exactly the same as my real leather shoes, which I got once upon a time in the pre-vegan days, but they are not leather. When I got these shoes, I was thoroughly impressed. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below as well because I think they definitely deserve a shout out. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. 
And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need You want me to go now to see the film me All that <laughs> Then Well I'm just gonna step in the water so screw you mm -hmm. To prevent engaging in the behaviours that I don't want to engage in, i.e. working, I like to remove myself from my house, so Tom and I decided to test out our new Christmas toy, the drone, before we then went and did adult stuff, like do our grocery shopping. Once we'd done that, it was already one o'clock, we were a bit peckish so we decided to stop by McDonald's because the Stroud McDonald's has finally gotten around to getting the McPlant in. I haven't set foot in McDonald's for probably about six years and before that at least another six years because I don't really like their stuff. So I didn't have high hopes for this burger especially because it costs about four pounds for a tiny vegan burger and it did not fill me up as expected. However, taste-wise it was actually pretty decent. I was surprised I really did enjoy it so if ever I'm stuck without any other options I'd happily have it again. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it didn't like massively fill me up, but we eat quite a lot, don't we? So. Yeah, so that was probably a bit of a snack for us. We also just got our shop done, probably slightly smaller than our usual shop, but we still got a fair amount of stuff. Time to look for some more food and have a chill afternoon. So, anyway, this was my super exciting weekend. What have you been up to this weekend? How have you been doing? What have you done for yourself to relax? Let me know in the comments and whilst you're at it, subscribe if you haven't already. More amazing content like this coming and more updates soon too. That retreat is definitely on its way.